Als nächstes würde Christopher Basaldu sprechen. Dankeschön. Et ei aapele, ma uute pelech minu aasu, te kau jen sepen kebanikla, jen eshtokna, jen somisek. My name is Christopher Basaldu, I am eshtokna, a human being in our language. Our homelands are called Somisek, the colonizer calls it Texas, and I come from a colonizer town called Brownsville, Texas. Uh, in Brownsville, Texas, there proposed two LNG export terminals. Uh, earlier this year, there were three, but one of them canceled because of our community and our tribe's activism against the LNG terminals. Uh, these LNG export terminals would send fracked gas, very dirty gas, into the global market. None of it is for domestic use. So the ventures to create LNG export terminals are only to make a very few rich people in the United States even richer. However, that fracked gas that produces so much poisoned water and so much dirty land, that fracked gas would come where? Most all of it would come to Europe to make Europe comfortable, to generate Europe's power, while other lands of native people, lands of BIPOC people and affected people, people in the global south, their lands will be destroyed and poisoned for your comfort. This has been happening for 500 years. And descendants of Europeans in what is called the United States of America continue the genocide and destruction of native sacred land, sacred sites, and sacred people in order to create more money and wealth for the oil and gas industry in the United States, the oil and gas industry in Europe, and other rich people here. So we, the Carizo Come Crudo tribe of Texas, and the community activists in Brownsville and along the Texas Gulf Coast, uh, black and brown people on the Gulf Coast who don't want their lands destroyed, will continue to resist these export terminals and we will continue to fight against their those terminals, their pipelines, their associated pipelines which also destroy land, and the fracking in fracking areas where shale deposits are, you know, we, we are opposed and will continue to oppose that as well because it is destroying the land. My relative has come with me, Josette Cruz. She works in Brownsville as a community activist and organizer. She also has been fighting against these LNG terminals in the port of Brownsville for years. Elida Castillo comes from the Corpus Christi Bay Area, which has been taken over by industry and pollution. The Corpus Christi LNG facility, which is operational, already has an agreement with Brunspittel LNG. And so they already have an agreement to import gas out of that terminal. And so she's here to help stop that this terminal here in Brunsbüttel. Uh, the two terminals uh, that are proposed for Brownsville may also send gas here in the future because these companies are always looking for customers. I want to repeat, this is the continuation of 500 years of colonialism and genocide against lands that do not belong to Europe and they do not belong to European descendants who call themselves the government and the power and the corporations in the United States. So this is why native people all over North America and in South America are opposed to these to are opposed to this industry and opposed to this destruction. And we ask you to please wake up. European countries are saying that they don't want fracking, they're banning fracking because they know how destructive and poisonous it is on your, on your own lands. But what do you want to do? You want to still be comfortable and have all this power by creating death in our lands. So we ask you to please remember your humanity and stop. Thank you. Nenapalech, I am a